age five, I was kidnapped by terrorists in a gunboat. The RCMP had this gunboat. It was an RCMP boat with a gun mounted on it to gather children from villages. We were, we were segregated right from the day one. I remember in September we were all on a beach and we were all given numbers. When I first got to school in Cranbrook, we were all given a number. Uh, my number was 54, and my, my underwear, my socks, my uniform, my uh, towels, everything that I had had a number. It was 54 on there. And all the girls had their own numbers. And if you were caught with a, somebody else's number, you got whipped for that. We weren't allowed to have books, but we weren't allowed to read. If you were caught reading any kind of a book or a magazine, you, uh, you, were, you were punished. There was a severe punishment that one. The kids who told on us got preferential treatment, whereas the children who sang their songs and spoke their language were punished constantly for every, any little thing, for even even for laughing. It was always hard for us to tell one another we love you. Because we were taught to love was wrong. They told us to love was wrong, that was the devil's work. But yet these priests and nuns could hug and kiss. And we couldn't even hug our own brothers we couldn't even hold them and tell them we loved them. And she was standing at the top of the stairs, and he kicked her. She went rolling downstairs. She ended up, she was, she was uh, laying like this. Her eyes were open, but she wasn't moving. She wasn't crying. So, I see that all the time. Her name was Maggie. She was two years older than me. And she was murdered in there by a nun. She pushed out the window, second story up, and she died. But nothing was done about it. We weren't allowed to see a lawyer or nothing. campaign against traditional families has continued to the present day. Dr. James Goodbrand sterilized many of our women. In 1952, when he heard I was going to marry a traditional chief, Goodbrand kept saying to me, if you marry Freddy, I'll have to do an operation on you. That scared me and I tried to see another doctor, but the Indian agent wouldn't let me. So when I gave birth to my daughter, it was Goodbrand who delivered her. After the birth, I hurt really bad and I kept bleeding. Then I learned that my tubes had been tied. He must have done it to me after the delivery when I was still unconscious. I heard Good Brand say he was getting paid three hundred dollars by the government for every every Indian woman he sterilized. It's hard to uh, not hear the voices, not hear the cries, not hear like they're haunting. And I pray that those little spirits that are captured in here like that in pain, that they'd be released. I opened that window on purpose to be released out of here, you know. I am now diabetic, I'm now on dialysis. I am losing my sight. My legs are giving out on me. And now I've got 
to realize too that I ain't got much time. I know that. But I want to give my love to my sons for what days I got left because they they got to know that I do love them. Even though I couldn't tell them for years, but I do. I care about them lots. I didn't want to share my 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 past with them, but I finally told them. They cried with me. And fed the hungry with good things. Put the wealth beyond empty.